Okay, so we're back for a part four video for the Diablo 4 free weekend. Uh, the event's coming to a close. There's, I think there's about eight hours left, something like that. <clears throat> anyway, we're going to continue on from where we left off. Alright, so it looks like, um, yeah, it looks like we're, we're exactly where we were. Um, so there's some kind of a, what we call them? There's a, a combat thing, which is the orange circle on the map. Um, yeah, it just evades me what we could call them. Um, maybe just random battle? I don't know. So I guess we'll get past this first. <clears throat> Oh, is it one of these spirit ones? Yeah, okay. Please, I need your help. I can't see. My dearest wanders these woods alone. I need time to prepare that. Yeah, they're pretty common kind of event. Done quite a few of them uh, over the course of the videos. That's all you have to do really is just escort that spirit around. Um, but anyway, uh, we need to get over to. Um, Shroud of the Father, which is find the 
a child's call, which is... Oops. Uh, yeah, uh, this is something that kind of annoys me. Um, they keep changing what kind of button should um, navigate certain little pop-up windows compared to like the big menu and um, and also when you're trying to navigate inside the pop-up window you know it, it's always different you know so when you go to um, navigate in one thing it's it's totally different button to navigating something else and then you end up getting yourself in trouble uh, where you know you get the completely the wrong area you want to be in, or it just closes out of the menu completely. Um, and then you've got to go through the process of going all the way back to um, to get into the menu that you want to be in again. So it's, yeah, we want to get up there, we'll probably teleport to there. Um, unless we want to do a another dungeon but the problem is that I'm on level 19 at the moment and as soon as we hit level 20 it's going to say game over so I think we're just going to continue with the um, the doing the I don't think it's a main quest I think it's like um, what they call it? There was a. See, we got the campaign. Yeah, I've done it again. Um, oh, it's a side quest. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking we should go and do. Uh, uh, did that just respawn? Yeah, things seem to respawn sporadically. Smoldering initiates, gloves. No. Uh, compare. No. Uh, no. No. That's the weapon that I used to be using. Uh, okay, keep that one. Gotten already. Right, okay. Yeah, that's got the socket. Hailstorm gauntlets. Frozen orb. Charged bolts. Plus one rank. Charged bolts. Hmm. Oh wow, they interesting boots. Uh, Frost Nova. All right. Um, yeah, let's equip it. Uh, they're pointy like the picture, but they're, they're not the uh, you know, this orange kind of glow. It doesn't have that. Um, right, so, uh, yes, well, there's something about Nova, Meteor. And I think we bust in. And the other one was charge bolt, wasn't that? Well, I can't see the Nova one.
tad fault, see you guys. Uh, well, it is not telling me that we've got it. Cross Nova, that must be it. So we don't have that um, activated either at the moment. Um, Torrent of Cross, freezing enemies around you. Well, I suppose we could try it. Sign the this enchantment. Um, sign skill. I mean, I want to assign it to um, the blue button. So, uh, unassign that one. Ah, oh, shoot, what's it done? What was there? Uh, was it the This is a really confusing cross nova. Is that is that what I'm doing? Cross nova. So I think I removed the um, the meteor. I think that's what I removed. Uh, this probably a a for the time being. Um, yeah, I don't want to walk, so let's teleport. Uh, oh, or do I want to go to a... Um, let's see, where can I go for... Modifying the armor uh, this place? I was wondering if it might upgrade the cross nova, but it, it doesn't. Uh, what else we got? I think there was something else that I could upgrade. Oh yeah, the weapon.
Okay, that will do. And not um, while I'm in town. If we wanted to try um, another weapon, I would use where is it? One of these. Um, I mean, they're pretty similar, aren't they? Damage to stun, damage to crowd control, damage to distance. Uh, they're very similar, but um, So yeah, if I wasn't going to use that staff, I'd probably go uh, that one and that one there. Yeah, but I need to know how how yeah, is it collection? No, um, collections. Maybe wait. No, it's a challenge. Uh, no, it's got to be. Do I just go... Hmm... Can I... I want to remove the gem out of it. Uh, how do we do that? The forge is hot. It is possible that there's somebody that can do it, but I. Would it be. No, that's. Not, no, not the stable uh, prison down there. Um. What else we got here? Uh, Liz, no, that's a stable, isn't it? I think it's no, it's not stable. Okay. All right, let's go find out then. Maybe I'm not if we ready hit yet. the um no, it's Vivaya or Father bring you luck?
Um, uh, what is this? No idea what that's all about. Maybe, maybe it's this person. Here we go. Unsock it. This one here. Ah, oh. okay, there we go, so we unsocket it, and then I want to add the gem to wait a minute, to what? Add no, I don't want to add... Okay, maybe maybe I can do add the gem without actually... Yeah, here we go. Socket into the forgotten codex. Alright, now what's that done? Plus 6 critical strike damage. 160 damage per second. 124, so it's 284. This weapon is doing 240 to 360 per hit. 300 damage per second. Alright, so this weapon is kind of better than those two, but in the way of uh, damage output. But in saying that, I don't have, unless I change it to something else. Is worth the coin. Huh. All right, so now we're at um, twenty-eight and Um. Alright, so it's starting to get closer. Lurking boots, yeah. Probably shouldn't have upgraded them as much as I did. So, I'm looking for what I can put the armor. Wow, that's a big difference, isn't it? Probably about 35%, something like that. Six point five to a stunned enemy. Six point five, okay, so we don't need that one. We don't need that. We don't need that. Um Plus four fire damage over time. Plus four fire damage over time. Ah, uh, might keep that one. 
5.5 to close enemies. Frozen orb and charred bolt, yeah. Uh, Yeah, I'll definitely hold on to those boots. In case we go back to them. And this stuff is a pretty good stuff, so I don't want to lose it. Right, and now we can get him to salvage all of that. And I think that's about it. I think we can. Uh, I'll take that other weapon with me to go to on a swap. I should with two thousand, so yeah, I doubt we've got mounts yet. I mean, it is possible that maybe they're locked behind, um, you know, like, you're not going to be able to get them in the uh, free weekend, probably. Alright, so let's move over to uh, this teleporter here. Okay, um, so I'm going up this way. Uh, probably set a uh, waypoint. Uh, let's just go in this way. Yeah. The night has teeth beyond these walls. Better we'd bed down here so that we see the dawn. Julek? In my Julek? He said he'd be back in the morning. The garrison at Kordragan was once formidable, but it's been overrun by vampires. And so many of our best warriors have not returned. Ugh, it's a wicked place now. These pilgrims pass through here on their way to Kiovashad, but precious few others visit. How can I survive with so little trade, with no coin coming in? Watch your pockets. When people are hungry enough, they turn to thievery. Don't be quick to judge, stranger. A hungry man taking a loaf of bread is not a thief. Um, so there was a 
exclamation mark on the map there. Uh, that usually means that it's a side quest. So, I guess we can go and find out what it is. Get up! She must be stopped before Moral Heart! You there, help! A mad woman with an axe! She massacred my knights like they were children. Her face was pained, as if she could not stop herself. The axe, it seemed to feed on the blood. Someone must separate mm. her from that accursed axe. The town militia won't stand a chance. wonder if this lady that we gave an axe to... They served as both protectors and and as observers I trusted with my work. Do not <coughs> underestimate her. <coughs> ah. Down in the cellar. Hmm. Uh, well, I mean, we could do that, but it would probably push us past, you know, up to level 20. I mean, it doesn't matter what I do, you know, either we could do that or we could go um, north. May your road be calm. So I guess we'll... Oh. There's something um, There's something over to the right um, <laughs> It could just be one of those spirits again Lost spirits that wants me to escort them It is. Yeah, I don't really want to uh, do another one of those. Fire shield's pretty good. If there's anything over here. Sometimes you find a treasure chest. Hmm. Weird. 
out of mana once again. Right, so what's this one? Find me right here. <clears throat> Yeah, I believe this is for the, um, what's he called, a bishop? I don't know. It was <laughs> Whoever the guy was who uh, was going to go after the uh, pale man that was hanging around Lilith. Was he just a priest? Um, I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going to hit level 20 any moment. So... Well, I mean, it's been, a, it's been a, an okay time, you know. I mean, it's... Um, It's not perfect, you know. Uh, it has a few areas that could be improved on. Some kind of a sport to find or something. Yeah, so we have to go basically searching around. Looks like it's going to be quite a big uh, place to That more, I oh know these are something different. Uh, fire damage over time, fire damage over time. Oh, okay, so they're basically the same thing, but one's more. Oh no, they're doing a bit of a sw uh, swap around, are they? Okay. Well, this is plus 3.8. That's a plus 3.5. Oh no, yes. Yeah, so, well, yeah, yeah, 3.8. That's 3.5. But there's 5.5, and that's 4. .5. Um, we'll go with this one, I think. Equip a magic or high quality item to every uh, area, uh, every slot. Well, we've done that, so that's why it's given us a uh, thing there. We've got one skill point, okay. Um, you sure? Oh, we've still got Meteor there, but yeah, we just haven't got it. Um, yeah. Well, the Freeze one works pretty good. Uh, maybe Freeze works better than the other things. Maybe I'll put Meteor onto this slot. But yeah, we still have something to... Um, 
Okay, let's do an upgrade for the. Um, the I don't, I don't know if it will allow me to do that. Uh, Going to say an upgrade for the. This thing, crossing over. Yeah, it won't let me. Because it's saying we're only getting that off an item, so it's, uh, it's, it's like, you know, we haven't properly learned it. I mean, we use this one here as our default attack, so maybe I'll just upgrade the default attack or. Look at this. I oh, know, it's already done. Yeah, we might as well just upgrade it. I mean, we use it most of the time, so... Lightning. I was wondering what was missing. Um, do I need the chain lightning? I think it's easier to use. Hydra, yeah, the Hydra is a pretty cool. Oh well, maybe we just won't use uh, Meteor for now. I think we have to remove that somehow. I don't know how you would do that at the moment, but I'm low on precious matter. Oh, that's it. I'm mean, glad you're putting that. Out of mana once again. Uh, Hydra will finish it off. Makeshift one. No. So we walked up that way, so. I boot, so they look like they might be rear, no? Oh, you say, uh, what? wait, no, they're not. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I don't know why that thing might be in this thing, right?
know, they got a, um, a socket on them as well. Plus 13 to maximum life. Yep. Oh, well, they, they should be pretty good. But we need to find some more gems now, don't we? Either that or we can buy them. Especially good buy them. Uh, I think we're picking up some crafting gear. Anybody in there? Ah, oh, they look. Oh, they are rear. Oh. Oh, they're not... oh no, they're not rear. any potion. Okay, what do we got? A seven to thorns. All defensive skills. Hmm. lost but well
Hmm. I hope we're not going. No, we definitely haven't been here. Okay, so <laughs> I guess it's the uh, the end. It's it's blimmin um, kicked me out to a web browser. Game connection has been lost. Disconnected from the server. Yeah, so we must have hit rank 20. Uh, once you do that, yeah, you can't continue. So the only thing I can do now would be to create a new character and start again. So, um, yeah, I'm going to uh, leave it at that. Um, So yeah, I'll just finish up by um, saying a few comments about how I found it and uh, it's just my kind of thoughts and, and opinion of course, if you want to put your own, you can um, make your own kind of opinion or you know, make your own thoughts on it. But, um, So there's a few things that I think are kind of lacking, um, which uh, you know I'm not. I, I kind of expect more from a uh, big um, company like this, and this is a AAA game, so you expect that um, you know things like this here. You can't change the resolution. And you know they don't have a full screen exclusive mode. If they had a full screen exclusive mode, I'm sure we would be able to change this here, and it would then put our monitor into the resolution that we choose. So yeah, there's no excuse as to why um, that is not in the game. So uh, you know, even if you can um, force it by perhaps changing your desktop resolution and then launching the game you know possibly that might be a workaround but yeah I'm not um, I'm not going to accept that as a, uh, a you know I'm not going to accept that because it's it's not up to the player to, uh, to do stuff like that but because you know, I don't want to change my desktop into a different resolution because then, you know, it puts, it, it, it just, it affects everything that, that I'm, you know, running or whatever. So, um, you know, in the way of streaming as well, it means I've got to change all my streaming settings and everything. 
So, yeah, it's to me, it's it's just not good enough. Um, another thing that I'm not, uh, I think, should have been done better is the navigation of all the menus and the uh, pop-up windows and navigation inside the pop-up windows. Uh, why not just make it so that the buttons are always the same so that you know you can navigate easily um, without the problems I was having where when it would change to a different window or something it would be a different navigation and then if I use the navigation that I've been using previously or a navigation for this main menu here it would kick me out of the window or the pop-up uh, or will kick me into a different menu altogether and uh, then I had to exit out of there and go back all, all through the process of again of trying to go through the menus to get to the specific area that I'm trying to get to so yeah that was really annoying and I don't think it, um, it should have been happening like that. So that's the um, second thing that I um, I can't really, you know, I can't accept any excuses for that because of the fact that this is a, um, a, a you know, a big production house. And, uh, yeah, they should... You know that that should have been a design thing from the from the get go is that they make consistency in in that area. Um, yeah, I think that's it for the uh, the the big gripes. Um, if we were going to talk about. Uh, the gameplay I felt like maybe it was it, it, they could have done things a little bit different in, in a few areas uh, one being the One being the combat, but then, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a, a difficult one, eh? Because, um, I mean, at the beginning, it feels like all you're doing is just spamming the one attack all the time. But of course, later on, near the end of this uh, free weekend there is a bit more variety in the way that you know you can assign the text to buttons and you can try and make your own kind of combo up in a way but the problem still is still there that you um, you tend to just use the same combat pattern every every time you go into a combat you do you know you, you create this pattern in your uh, in your head you know okay I'm gonna do a um, maybe I'm gonna start off with an ice shield and I'll um, or you know like maybe I start off with my chain lightning then they come up and they run in towards me, I put my ice shield on, they get up close, so I start hitting them with the uh, the uh, arc lash, whatever they called it, and then if, if you know I'm getting smothered or if there's some some big uh, enemies that are going to take more you know damage to put them down, then I activate my fire shield, which seems to do massive damage to them. Um, and that's just a pattern, that's just the pattern that I was using for the, you know, 
the later half of the game, you know, I actually had these things unlocked. And um, and sometimes I would throw in hydras as a um, as a crowd control or mob control kind of thing, depending on you know the enemy that I could see. And um, and then of course there was at the end there we we got the meteor, which I then swapped out for a uh, area effect. Um, freeze and um, you know that was something new that I was uh, the, the freeze one was I, I could tell was going to be really useful but I hadn't quite worked it into my pattern yet <clears throat> but that this just seems like that's what the combat is like you know you just you, you create yourself a pattern and then it's just what you do every time um, and what doesn't help that is the fact that they're always spawning in enemies um, you know it's not just enemies that are spawning though there's uh, other things that spawn as well like breakables and then you get you know like the crates or the uh, you know some kind of a corpse or what they call it, a tree with a hollow tree trunk or something, you know, that might have an item in it. Um, you know, they, they came, it was as if they were spawning as well. And, um, yeah, the fact that with the enemy spawning and the fact that they were spawning all around you, they weren't just spawning in, in one direction, like, um, which I'll just touch on in a moment, but. Um, you know, you, so you're always being attacked, basically, you know, from anywhere, and that's not including the pop-up random uh, combat events that were popping up as well. And um, so, with all this combat going on, and the fact that you were pretty much sticking to a pattern, uh, you know, I mean, it, it just got very samey, you know. So I think maybe if they didn't um, do as much of the enemy spawning or the, you know repeat spawning and all that, um, you know that wouldn't have, that would have cut down the amount of combat, so that it wouldn't have been so it wouldn't have been such an issue. You know what I mean? Because I think some people probably will get a bit bored of it or a bit like, you know, well, I'm just doing the same thing all the bloody time here, you know. And it's, so I think it's just, it's creating a sense of being overdone, you know. It's, it's what I feel like. Um, but another thing about the spawning, the fact that they're spawning all around you and they, they keep coming from all the directions, is that in Diablo 1, um, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it's a hell of a long time ago since we since I played it. Uh, but um, I, I have this feeling that in Diablo One, right, you uh, you started off at the town, you went into the uh, the ruins, whatever it was, catacombs, and um, you know there would be an entrance, and then there would be the stairs to go down to the next level, and as you move from the entrance to the area and move and work your way towards the stairs, the enemies would always be uh, coming at you, you know, from you progressing through that floor or through that area. And, you know, you weren't getting them spawning behind you because you know, you've already cleared the enemies that were there behind you, you know, and um, yeah, to me that, that just seems, I think, I think I preferred that, 
is, is what I'm trying to say, you know, that, that, that kind of idea, you know. I mean, with enemies spawning all around you, um, it just, it's a bit, I mean, there's, there's, you know, you start to think, you know, like, I mean, are these enemies unlimited? You know, are they infinite? You know what I mean? Are they, um, uh, and if they could spawn anywhere, why aren't they just spawning inside the town? Why aren't they spawning inside the building? Why aren't they killing all the bloody people in there? You know, click of a finger because they can just spawn wherever the hell they want. You know, but that's not what's happening, is it? They're just spawning around randomly anywhere outside of the town. And, and they basically just, uh, you know, can spawn on, almost spawn on, on top of you, really. And uh, take you from any direction. So, um, and that's not only outside in the world, but also in the uh, catacombs or ruins or, you know, the, the areas that you... Uh, travel down into uh, around the world so um, yeah it just it, to me it just kind of it begs a question you know what I mean <laughs> usually if you you know you're one person against against them uh, if you clear out an area or you're walking away for, uh, for a location you know if you if you kill them or clear them out, then you know you're you're done with that with them there. You know, I mean, they can't just appear out of thin air. Appear, you know, I mean, that's just my my way of thinking anyway. But so yeah, I mean, in Diablo One, from my memory, which could be wrong, but you know, I I think I, I seem to remember that. You know, if you were down in the uh, the different floors underground, and then you wanted to get to town, let's say you didn't teleport right, so you just walk back up. So you walk back up through the floors, up the stairs, keep on going, all the way back to town. All those floors would be empty. And then if you go back down, all the floors that you've already cleared will be empty. As far as I know, that's how it was. So, um, but of course, you know, I mean, you could have progressed that further and then just said, well, okay, if you leave a floor, you know, there could be um, like roaming enemies, you know? So, enemies that are coming from the area where you haven't the area where you haven't cleared but they're, they're working their way back in towards town but they're only like small groups or something you know just small numbers you know because they've got to rebuild themselves up you know? they're not just gonna they're not just infinite you know so um, so then you could say oh well okay then you you've um, you've come out of where you were up to and it's been a little while, and now you're going back down, and some uh, some of these enemies are starting to kind of filter their way back back in, or whatever. You know, then you could, you, you know, when you go down, you're going to find these little tiny bands or pockets of enemies that you need to clear on your on your way through again. Uh, you know, I mean, I could understand something like that, but um, yeah, that's just my take on it anyway. So that's. Uh, that's something else there. And then the loot. You used to get way more loot than Diablo 1. I mean, I remember I used to uh, go down. I used to try and do what I'm doing here, which is that when I walk around, I try to get all the loot. I try to go, go explore the whole floor, all the map. And um, when you do that, you get so much loot. And um, all the time, you know, it was, it was a case of, well, I've got to teleport back to town, empty my uh, loot, you know, sell it to the trader, and then I'll go back down and then get some more loot, you know. And, um, yeah, some people don't like doing that. 
Um, it can be annoying, you know, especially maybe there was too much loot in Diablo 1, to be honest. Um, but again, it all depends, doesn't it? You know, I mean, how much money do you need? Um, I got a feeling in Diablo 1, it was, it kind of balanced itself out. I mean, that's why I was picking up items, taking them to the trader, selling them was because I, I needed the money to be able to buy whatever the highest price um, stuff was or whatever. Pretty sure that's why I did it. I mean, but anyway, this time around, it's a bit different. Um, you do get loot here. I wouldn't say it's, it's low. I'm not complaining about the amount of loot you get. You know, you do get you do get loot, you know, it's not like I'm saying you don't get loot, but, um, but the loot that you get, it's like tiny little increments of, of increases, which isn't too bad, I suppose, but you see now they, they've added, um, you know, upgrade abilities to almost everything. You can upgrade things three times and some things you can add um, gems into sockets. You can so you can add sockets to things as well. And then you can also um, what they call it trans uh, transmu is it just transmutation or transmutation? Not sure, but you. So you can. If you've got an item, you know, like a weapon or a bit of armor that you, you really like, you know, it's got really awesome stats and you, you don't want to stop using it, you know, even when it, um, you know, it's, it's like becomes really old and, and, uh, the numbers on it are, are real low compared to the stuff you're finding. You know, it's just like you know. So, but you don't want to. You don't want to get rid of it. You know. So what you do is you can you pick up something that's uh, at a current level. You know, with the high numbers, you take that to one of the um, one of the traders in the, in the uh, town, and he will actually get the uh, characteristics and stats, well, yeah, not, not the numbers though, but you know, like the, mainly the characteristics, I suppose you call them, of the, uh, the item that you actually, you know, really like. And he'll transfer those over onto a more modern uh, item that you give him. And, um, you know, thereby, it's basically, uh, you know, creating a fresh item that's, uh, you know, similar to to the uh, the item that you really like, but it's it's been, you know, it's got the boosted numbers and that, which, um, you know, which means that you can use it with your higher level. You know? So that's pretty cool. Um, but of course, it all costs resources. Uh, so of course, it costs gold coin. And I wasn't having trouble with the gold coins there in the way of upgrading. We had heaps of coins to upgrade. That wasn't a problem. Uh, the problem is the resources for the crafting. So the crafting uh, resources that you need to do all that stuff, uh, the upgrading and all that, that was looking a bit low to me. And I'm not sure if you can actually get that stuff refunded. So if you're upgrading items all the time, I think you'd probably have a bit of a hard go at it because I 
think you'd run out of resources pretty quick. And the fact that what the gear that you're finding is, you're finding so much gear that's just tiny improvement here and there. It's, it's not really worth upgrading every single item that you pick up, you know, like every small increment. Um, so that kind of makes the loot a bit less appealing. But, yeah, I can't really mention what the items were like in Diablo 1 in that regard. I, I mean, I think possibly it was very similar in the way of small increments. Um, I think in Diablo 1 you used to get duplicates of items quite often as well. And... Um, Maybe not the, um, like, you know, leg the equivalent of, like, legend or legendary or elite bloody items, but, or epic items, but, um, but definitely the lower level stuff anyway. Maybe some of the, the lower level uh, magic stuff as well. And, um, you know, but you could sell them at the trade and get some good money, so. Yeah. Um, and then another thing is the the uh, the gear set. They they've got this customization thing going, and if you don't like something like you see, I'm I'm not a big fan of this purple bloody top, but um, so you can actually go and. You can customize it a little bit. You have a, you don't have many choices, and you can't really. You don't have, you don't have much kind of ability over changing it. But you know, fingers crossed. You you there'll be something there that maybe you can you know it might be a bit more palatable for you. You know. Um, but, uh, yeah, we picked up two of these purple uh, tops, different items, but they look similar. So I think there's a bit of, there must be quite a bit of duplication going on in the way of uh, visuals, you know, like it's, the, the, very, the variety of uniqueness of items is not, as uh, much as I would like. I mean, I know I've, in um, other games that I've played, um, there's a huge amount of variety in, uh, in the look of, of uh, items. And it's, it's a little bit of a, I feel like maybe it's it's not quite like that in this Diablo 4. I've got a feeling that you know is, there is quite a bit of duplication going on, and I think maybe it would have been better if they didn't have the customization uh, feature, but actually made all those individual. Um, Uh, cosmetic chain, uh, choices that they give you which is only a small amount but then when you add it up over all the different items uh, it would actually make quite a few and they could have just uh, basically had a variety of these items uh, using those different cosmetics so that when you were picking up these things, they would actually look different instead of all looking the same. And uh, because the choices that they give you when it comes to changing things, there's not a lot of choice there. You know, it's, it's, I mean, I can't go in there now. It won't let me. Yeah, see, it won't let me. So I can't go back in and just kind of show you the, uh, 
the changes that you can make, but um, yeah, in in the videos at some point, I I have been to the wardrobe and we did change the uh, the outfit at one point, uh, but yeah, that's another point is that when you change it, if you force a change on the cosmetic, then it will remain uh, even if you replace the item. So let's say I found a new um, armor for the top gear and it's something totally different. You know, it looks totally different. It's got sleeves, It's it, maybe it's like plate mail or something and I'll put that on it won't change, you won't see it. He'll still be wearing this uh, purple top or uh, whatever it is that I change it to. Um, he will still be wearing that. And you have to go to the wardrobe and then disable your co you know, your change that you've made, your cosmetic change, and then it will show you the, uh, you know, if it was the plate mail with uh, a long sleeve that I've got. So, yeah, I mean, it, I just feel like the way they've implemented some things could be could have been done there. I mean, yeah, I'm sure. I think back to things like uh, Dungeon Siege and uh, Neverwinter Nights, and um, even like Skyrim. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm sure. Um, if you've played those games, you'll know what I'm talking about. But, so, yeah, I feel like maybe that is kind of lacking in, in this game here. Um, so, yeah, I just I feel like there's just some things that they could have done better. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's not much else... Uh, that, that I, you know, I, I think that I can complain about. Um, I'll say the story is okay from what we've seen so far. It's it's just, uh, you know, run-of-the-mill story, nothing new. You know, it's just what we, you know, we've, we've seen a story like this uh you know, we've all seen stories like this before. It's, you know, they're throwing in a number of different uh, things, you know, different genres or whatever. But, um, yeah, it's like they're just covering, covering the board, basically. And... Uh, yeah, just run-of-the-mill... So yeah, there's nothing to, uh, there's nothing, nothing surprising or out the ordinary, nothing, nothing mind blowing. So yeah, I'm not going to uh, say that this is, um, you know, best uh, game story of the year, <laughs> anything like that. Um, So, yeah, that's, that's, that's about the most of it. Uh, now, the good things, obviously there is a ton of content here. Um, if you want to play a game where that's going to keep you busy for a hell of a long time, then uh, this is a game that can do that. Um, the controls are fine. Um, I think there's a lot more controls than what you can fit on a gamepad, <laughs> but uh, you know it was it's playable on the gamepad. There's nothing nothing wrong with using the gamepad, and you can customize what uh, actions you put to what buttons. So um, yeah, no, nothing wrong there. 
So I'm, I'm completely happy with how the gamepad worked out. Uh, I don't really want to use a mouse for a game like this because uh, you're clicking so much that it's just going to destroy your mouse buttons. Especially the mice, uh, yeah, the mice that I've been using in the last few years. Um, it's like the technology isn't as good as what it was uh, 20 years ago. The mice buttons don't seem to be they can't seem to take as much uh, punishment. Um, I, I bought a really expensive Logitech mouse, and it's a it's a fantastic mouse. But I tell you, I kind of I regret buying it a little bit because of the fact that the primary mouse button on it only lasted for one year. And I, I can't really, I, I can't accept that because uh, because it was quite expensive. It was very expensive. I mean, it was like it was it was more than a week's wages. I mean, you know, it, I, I probably you know it could have been up towards uh, two weeks' wages when I bought that. So. Um, yeah, it should have lasted for more than one year. I think the manufacturing, I think they only gave it one year warranty, which again, that's something that, uh, that I'm not really happy about that because of the fact that, um, I mean, I had, I had a mouse that, uh, that I'd used for a long time. Um, I had used it for about 10 years. Uh, now I did actually keep keep it alive. Um, but I think I think it was like three years. I used it for about three years, I think, before uh, the mouse button on that started to uh, show signs of double clicking. And then I um, I would pull it apart and I would just do some kind of try and repair the micro switch in it and then put it back together again. And um, and at first it would, you know, it, that would give it like another year. I'd be able to use it another year, and then I'd have to do it again. Then it would be like six months, and I'd have to do it again. And then um, after doing it, you know, like two or three times, I started to get pretty good at fixing the micro switches up. So um, actually figured out how to do it, and then I never had to fix it again. And it lasted for another uh, three years after that, I think. Uh, and eventually, I had to give up on that mouse because it was using lithium uh, batteries. And I think I, I bought extra batteries for it. I had like six batteries at one point. And, um, and eventually, those, those batteries just died. And yeah, I don't think you can get them anymore. You can get batteries anymore. <laughs> and I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't buy secondhand mice and... Uh, and take the batteries out of them because they, the batteries and those mice would have been dead as well. So, um, yeah, it was just I, unfortunately I had to move to another mouse and uh, yeah, buying a modern ma uh, modern mouse. They just weren't built, built as well, you know. I uh, I bought a a, a razor mouse that only lasts for six months, and I had to send it back to the uh, to the manufacturer to get it replaced under warranty. So they sent me a replacement, and I, I haven't opened it. So I've still got it in a box in the garage. Um, I'm going to have to dig it out because the mouse that I'm using at the moment, it, it's it's got problems with uh, with the cord. I don't know if I can fix it. Uh, if it's a just a like a loose connection where where the cord connects to the uh, circuit board, then maybe I can fix it up. But But if it's the actual wires and the cable, then yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I might be able to do it, like cut the cable shorter and rewire it up, but I don't know. We'll, I'll have to have a look and, and see what I think. So yeah, that's why um, that's why I wanted to use gamepad for this game, and I'm happy to see that uh, gamepad worked really well.
which makes me think that maybe this game could be quite good on something like a uh, Steam Deck as well, but I'm not sure about that because of the fact that you do actually need quite a lot of buttons. I don't know how many buttons you get on a, uh, on a Steam Deck. Uh, but if you have the same number of buttons as what you get on a Xbox 360 controller, then uh, you should be okay. Uh, the uh, the graphics quality is okay. Uh, I quite like the little details that they put around the world. Um, I just wish that the zoom that they implemented was a better kind of a zoom. Like maybe they could have made it so that you could manually control the zoom level yourself using the uh, right analog stick or uh, maybe even control the camera with the right analog stick. Uh, that's something you can't do. Uh, I got a feeling the camera is fixed in a certain angle. Um, I mean, I never changed the camera when I was playing it. Whether or not it is an option in here to be able to change the camera, I don't know. Let me have a quick look. No, all we have is the zoom and let's just look in the key bindings because they tend to have more controls under the keyboard and mouse menu than what they do under the gamepad menu which is understandable due to the number of buttons on the gamepad. No, there's nothing there about camera. Uh, whether, well, unless it's a option where you can tell it to uh, not use a fixed camera, which might be under gameplay. No. So yeah, that's that's something that I wish they they uh, they gave us the ability to either move the camera and or the zoom uh, manually using the analog stick um, or at least just be able to manually uh, move, change the zoom with the analog stick because at the moment you have the um, zoomed out which I felt was a little bit too far out and then the zoom in was so close that uh, I mean, it was quite nice if you wanted to look at either your character or something that's close to your character, but you could not run around and uh, play the game in that camera because it was just too close. Uh, you know, you you couldn't even see all the creatures that are attacking you probably because it was just too close. But So yeah, that's why I was saying, you know, at the time, well, I wish they had a zoom that was halfway between being fully in and the uh, the default out zoom. If you could get something halfway between there, uh, I would have really liked that. I would have actually probably played the game with that kind of a, uh, a zoom level because um, at the moment, yeah, I just felt like it was just zoomed out too far you couldn't you couldn't see all the details in that when you were out that far and um, and it's a shame because the details are there in the world why not you know allow us to uh, kind of appreciate them more um, so yeah there are some good things about the game uh, as I mentioned, the, uh, the visuals, I think the visuals are quite good. The, uh, the amount of content in the game, I think there's a lot of content here. Uh, I don't know how far the leveling goes, but um, yeah, supposedly there's a lot of events. You've got three world tiers, you've got um, 
different difficulty levels, you've got all the side quests, you've got the uh, the main quests, and then you've got what they were calling like challenges or something, which are just to do with progress progression of, of like your characters or your um, your gameplay ability and skill level, you know, like um, you know, as you're going through the game. So, um, yeah, I think there's quite a bit to do. So that's a plus. Um, also, multiplayer, you can play this with uh, your friends and that, which uh, it's, it's good to have that ability. Uh, so, yeah, how, how do I see it out of 10? I'd say for the free weekend, I'm going to give the free weekend a 7 out of 10. Because I think, you know, I'm not saying this is a bad game. Uh, I, I do, I have mentioned a lot of things that could have been done better. A lot of areas, you know, where they, I wish they had. And, you know they had done better um, and then there are areas where I wish that you know they would they would improve on it like the zoom uh, you know it would have been good if they had let us control the camera etc um, you know but but that just means it's not a perfect game you know but uh, I'd still give the free weekend, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. I think the, the full game I'd give probably an 8 out of 10, because I think it's going to get another number because of the fact that you're not going to be locked behind things. But, you know, with this level cap, they're locking you out of quite a lot of stuff. Uh, you get the, uh, the mount, you're going to be able to move around the world a lot quicker. That's going to be great. Um, so uh, yeah, I'd, I'm going to say an eight out of ten. But although it's not perfect, uh, I still think it's it's an eight out of ten game. So there you go. That's my uh, thoughts and opinion. And, um, yeah, some people might agree with me, uh, you know, some people won't agree with me, and I mean, I'm, I'm happy with that, so I think uh, everyone has a right to have their own opinion, and, uh, and, yeah, even if people don't accept or well, don't agree with, with my thoughts, uh, I think they still have to accept that, you know, that I'm, a, I'm allowed to have my own opinion. So, so there you go. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.